Megazyme provides an extensive range of asset kits for use in various assay formats, including an auto-analyzer, microplate, and manual spectrophotometer. This degluconic acid assay kit can be used to accurately measure degluconic acid in various sample types throughout industries such as food and beverages. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the assay kit with a wine sample using the manual spectrophotometer format. It is important to measure degluconic acid in wine as it is a key indicator of botrytis infection and grape rot during harvest. This kit contains sufficient reagents for either 60 or 120 manual assays and is supplied with a detailed data booklet. This assay is specific for the measurement of degluconic acid. The principle of the enzymatic reaction involved in the measurement of degluconic acid is shown in this figure. In the presence of NADP, the degluconate 6-phosphate formed is decarboxylated to ribulose 5-phosphate by 6-phosphogluconate dehydrogenase with the formation of NADPH. The amount of NADPH formed in this reaction is stoichiometric with the amount of degluconic acid. It is the NADPH which is measured by the increase in absorbance at 340 nanometers. This kit can also be used to measure degluconolactone, which is determined by the same principle as above after performing alkaline hydrolysis to degluconic acid. Prior to sample analysis, the kit component should be prepared as described in the kit data booklet. And once prepared, they are ready for use in the manual assay procedure. All of the kit components except bottles two and five are used as supplied. The contents of bottle two are dissolved in 12.5 milliliters of distilled water. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly to ensure complete dissolution. To prepare the kit standard, bottle 5 accurately weigh 279 mg of its contents, sodium degluconate, into a 1 litre volumetric flask. Fill to the mark with distilled water and mix thoroughly. Follow the manual assay procedure as described in the data booklet. Prepare all assay components except the final trigger enzyme in bottle 4 into each assay tube. A blank reaction and a standard reaction must be performed with each batch of samples. Prepare 2.0 milliliters of distilled water into all assay tubes. Prepare 0.1 milliliters of sample to sample assay tubes. Prepare 0.1 milliliters of distilled water into blank assay tube. Prepare 0.1 milliliters of prepared kit standard into standard assay tube. Put 0.2 milliliters of solution 1 into all acid tubes. Put 0.2 milliliters of solution 2 into all acid tubes. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 3 prior to dispensing. Prepare 20 microliters of suspension 3 into all assay tubes. When all of the components have been added, 
Mix the tube contents thoroughly and incubate the tubes in the 37 degrees Celsius heating block for approximately five minutes. After five minutes, record the first absorbance reading, A1, at 340 nanometers for all of the acid tubes. In this demonstration, we are using the Megaquant Wave Spectro Photometer, set to read at 340 nanometers. Alternatively, a recording spectro photometer with one centimeter path length cuvettes can be used. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle four prior to dispensing. After recording the A1 absorbance value, pipette 20 microliters of the trigger enzyme gluconate kinase into all of the acid tubes. Mix the tubes thoroughly and incubate them at 37 degrees Celsius for six minutes to allow the reaction to go to completion. Record the absorbance reading A2 for all of the acid tubes. This absorbance reading completes the measurement of D-gluconic acid. The absorbance readings A1 and A2 of the sample and the blank reactions are used to calculate the D-gluconic acid concentrations in the original samples. When performing this test using the pre-installed protocol on the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer, the results will be automatically calculated and printed via the onboard printer, or the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see your Megaquant Wave video for further details. If the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples, the calculations of D-gluconic acid content can be performed manually as described in the calculation section of the kit booklet. Megazyme has also developed specific Excel-based MegaCalc applications for each Megazyme kit to allow quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analysed using the MegaCalc application specific to this D-gluconic acid kit which is available to download free of charge from the Megazyme website. The MegaCalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the MegaCalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the blanks. For each sample, input the sample identifier and the absorbance values for the samples. Alter the sample volume if a volume other than the default 0.1 milliliters is used. If dilution of the sample has been performed, then input the dilution factor used. If no further dilution was performed, the dilution factor is one. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of D-gluconic acid in the sample is automatically calculated and given as grams per litre in the original sample. For solid samples, input the concentration of the original sample extract in grams per litre. The concentration of D-gluconic acid in the solid samples is then automatically calculated and provided as grams per 100 gram in the original sample.